in this video let's take a look ladies and gentlemen at the cardano ecosystem and blockchain and nft games that you don't want to miss out on in 2023 we're going to check out card games casual games and we also got some racing games in there but most importantly we also have a cardano metaverse which might be one of the best metaverses in the entire crypto ecosystem so let's get started with the topic first quick disclaimer i am not a financial advisor all right, now let's get right into this video. But before we start about these four amazing new games, I do want to tell you that all the links you will need for these games and the things we will talk about will be down in the description. So definitely check that out. Now, the first game we're going to be talking about is Mokosi Planet. And Mokosi Planet incorporates both virtual pet and farming simulation elements. And the starting point for players is to raise and bond with their Mokomons. Those are the in-game avatars or creatures through the five main activities within the game and these are feeding bathing boo-booing sleeping and entertaining and strongly bonded relationships will be rewarded with mood points that can be used to farm and deliver products and note that Pokemons are emotional creatures who demand love from their owners so this is not just a normal easy game you can play you actually have to put in time and effort to get the optimal rewards and outcomes out of the game now here on the website you can find out more about the story about breeding in the game and about the whole story and lore about Mokosi Planet. But apart from that, you can also check out what the avatars and what the Mokomons look like and get a sneak peek into their roadmap for the rest of 2023. As you can see right now, they're actually coming with some amazing new features such as scholarships, the MCOS dashboard and PvP gameplay, which will be further developed in quarter three of 2023. So first of all, amazing game, but second of all, also amazing developments coming very soon. So check that out. Now, the next game we'll talk about is Dracart and Dracart cards is a TCG. Like we said in the intro as well, this is a trading card game. It is an NFT play and earn game conceived and created by players who love card games and blockchain technology. And the Drag Cards company main goal is to structure an economic ecosystem and an active community of collectors, players and investors. And based on an epic fantasy universe, each Drag Cards collection has a unique story accompanied by remarkable characters and plots. You could therefore compare it with Hearthstone, but it's way more than that as well. And the cards can be acquired through booster packs or traded and purchased on their own NFT marketplace. And each booster pack, there will be five assorted cards from the current season collection. So within the game, there are five tiers of cards and you have common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. And the rarer the cards, the more powerful its performance on the battlefield. Now on their website, you can learn more about draw cards. You can, for example, check out their white paper, but also find out how you can stake. They also have their own token, like the previous game also had. But apart from that, you can also see some cards. You can find out more about the game in some trailers, which I would definitely recommend you to check out. And again, all the links will be down in the description. But apart from that, you can also already get a sneak peek into the fantasy ecosystem and world which it plays in which is called draconia here you can see it but again you can find out more about the game how it works and the lore in their white paper so definitely check that out as well now the third game we'll talk about is called Speed Throne. And Speed Throne is a PC game with realistic looking gaming visuals. And they are also using cutting edge technology from Unreal Engine 5, such as Nanite, Lumen and Chaos Vehicle Physics to deliver the best gaming experience for racing blockchain games to date. And they also have a prime car collection of a thousand NFTs on, again, the Cardano blockchain. And the prime car NFT includes car assets that can actually be played in the game a social class characteristics of the speed throne community and all future publications white list tickets for if you want that in the future and access to special drivers in speed throne games now on their website you can also find out more about that you can find out more about what the game is what they try to do but something i think is amazing is that you can also see those nfts in the prime series i think the graphics so far look amazing and you can definitely see that they are using the best technology out there with unreal engine 5 but you can see more about the prime series but also the alpha beta and king series of cars so a lot of development has already been done but there will be a lot of new development in the future as well so definitely check that out because first of all the game looks amazing and as i said earlier as well the development looks great as well now the last game i wanted to tell you about is called battle hero and battle hero is the first nft game that you really want to play and your time in battle hero is appreciated and you will be rewarded for it both in 
and fun and economically as Battle Hero is both free to play and play to earn. So as you can see on their website right now, you can find out a lot more on Battle Hero, more about the game, features, the NFT items used within the game, their own tokens, they have two tokens within the game and you can also find out more about the roadmap and team. Amazing website, a lot of great content, but apart from that, and again, all the links will be down in the description, but apart from that, you can also download Battle Hero from their website for Android, iOS, Mac OS or Windows. So as I said earlier, you can find out more on their website, such as the features. Right now it's a play to earn game, as I said earlier, and free to play. Not to forget, they have more than six game modes with a total of 15 maps. So amazingly developed and they have their own NFT marketplace, which I wanted to show you a bit for as well. So here you can see some of the NFT items. You have different characters, you have different grenades, weapons all together. And as you can see, it actually looks very well well developed as well and apart from that they also have a lot of game modes a lot of maps which you can play which will make sure that you can actually have fun in this free to play game while also earning some money doing it so as i said earlier if you want to know more about the tokenomics and the roadmap definitely go check out their website but for now we've reached the end of this video we talked about four amazing nft slash blockchain games built on and around the cardano blockchain so if you are interested in these games check out the links down in the description but for now if you found this video helpful please make sure to add a like and add comments with questions i might have missed and subscribe to our channel